does your message resonate with young people? You seem like an odd couple sometimes, with <laughs> students and yourself. All I know is they respond to the message of liberty. I think young people, their minds aren't as cluttered as some other people. People, people that you know get conditioned by the status quo, and if you're taught that you accept uh, everything, the conventional wisdom of foreign policy and monetary policy and deficits don't matter. You know, uh, our young people are, have a more open mind. I think. Can you lay out an electoral path to get you to the White House? Only with difficulty. You need to big, don't you? you know, all I know is I compare this to a running a race, and the race is only halfway, and people sometimes stumble. The importance of California, it's going to take all, isn't it? No. If I win a congressional district, I can get some delegates. That's the way I understand it. Okay? Okay. Uh, well, if you don't know much about Chico, a lot of people are interested in your stance on the medical marijuana law. What is your stance? Is it legalizing it nationwide? Well, I, I would do that. It wouldn't be that. I would just legalize the Constitution and get the government, the federal government out of it. This is one issue where liberals and conservatives who come together on states' rights. You know, conservatives sometimes are criticized for states' rights. But here's an issue that liberals and conservatives should say, the federal government should never overrule a state law that goes out of its way to allow people to use marijuana for medical reasons. No, I, I, want, uh, I, I want to legalize freedom across the board and the responsibility falling on all women. So uh, I don't want the feds in on, involved at all. Are you concerned that medical marijuana gets a, a little too, um, there needs to be some sort of restrictions put on it sometimes? Well, that, that's one of the problems we're having here in Chico, is that some people want some type of restrictions. No, I, I think that the state has the authority to do that. Uh, alcohol uh, is more difficult to get <laughs> people in high school than it is marijuana. So the restrictions don't do any good. So states can have restrictions of what they want, but I just don't think the federal government should be a dictator. Any you other plans for Chico tonight? What you do you said that uh, liberty is internal, and you said that the government should protect it in a minor sense. How do you view that? How do you explain that? So in we can in internal. Yeah, you said that the concept of liberty is internal. And you said that the government should protect liberty. In yeah, a that's the only thing. That, that's the only role the government should have. You know, a strong national defense, a court system, protecting property rights, give us sound money, don't counterfeit the money, uh, protect contracts, and they do the opposite. How do you feel about Barack Obama taking on the Supreme Court so publicly? Yeah, mm, that's his business. Do you, do you uh, think it's right for the president to do that with the Supreme Court? I, I think the law was so badly written. It's just a tragedy that we're at this point where. Uh, you know, it's even in the Supreme Court. <laughs> it shouldn't have ever gotten there. But um, for, for the president to overstep his bounds, that's not too unusual for presidents in these Do you years. Yeah, I need yeah. to go. Yeah. Yeah. So we're the student-run Chico State newspaper. Um, we're wondering how uh, you're, if you were elected, what would you bring to students? Freedom. Freedom of choice. Freedom to run their life as they choose. Get the federal government out of their Our lives. Can quit the war so they don't have to worry about a draft. I'd get rid of the draft registration. I would get rid of the war and I would balance the budget so they don't have to pay these debts. I mean, the, the burden is falling on the young people. And if you had a free market economy, they'd at least have jobs when they leave, when they leave college. Do you see students as a big support group for you? Absolutely. It sure looks like it. You had a fantastic turnout. Go ahead, Senator next Paul, you time. say that uh, you have, it's a difficult road to, to the nomination. Um, are you uh, considering a third party run? I haven't considered that seriously at all. No, I'm, I'm still in the middle of a race. You did say that uh, Vince Peck from the Chico News Review said that you really are opposed to the Patriot Act. Can you give us um, one or two of the main function, uh, main points that you really dislike the most? Yeah, you can. S people's houses can be searched without a search warrant, and uh, there's essentially no privacy been. Uh, protected now with with the Patriot Act. Uh, the authority for the TSA comes from the from the Patriot Act. And uh, no, it's a it's a horrible law. Is there anything good in the legislation? Uh, no, we I, possibly if I searched it, but it's so much bad I didn't need to find anything to <laughs> to pretend it had something good in it. No, it's a horrible piece of legislation. How do you plan to turn the support at rallies into votes? Encourage people to vote. Go out. That's all I can do. It's up to them. Okay, uh, one or two more. Um, do you one in the more race until the convention in um, August? Probably. Do you um, expect students at public schools to be able to want to vote for you when you'll be uh, possibly getting rid of financial aid and loans? Sure. People, uh, 
it's ever since the government's been involved, it made the cost of education go up many fold. I worked my way through college, and a, a semester cost me three hundred twenty dollars. So you get the student loans, and what you do, you get high prices. You borrow the money from the government. You're deeply in debt. And you don't have a job, so it doesn't work. All right, so, folks, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you can make way for us, folks.